Good afternoon or good evening, excuse me. Uh, I'm Marlon Lynch, Vice President for Public Safety, Chief of Police here at Michigan State University. Uh, tragic series of events that have occurred here this evening. Uh, we've had a tremendous amount of support from our community to include our law enforcement partners who are here with me at the moment as well. Um, standing at the far right, we have Indian County Prosecutor John Wayne. Uh, next to him, we have Sheriff, Sheriff Scott Wigglesworth, Special Agent in Charge of the FBI, Jim Jaraska, and you've already met Deputy Chief Chris Rossman. I wanted to thank you for, for coming to share us as we update our community in regards to tonight's events. Um, we will get directly to the most recent update with that, and then we'll have uh, comment and questions. Thank you, Chief. Uh, again, Chris Rosman, Deputy Chief with Michigan State University Police and Public Safety. So we start tonight by sharing an important update, and that update is the suspect in this incident was located outside of the MSU campus, and it does appear that that suspect has uh, died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. It is confirmed that he is deceased. This truly has been a nightmare that we are living tonight. But we have remained laser focused on the safety of our campus, our students, and the surrounding community. We are relieved to no longer have an active threat on campus, while we realize that there is so much healing that will need to take place after this. Again, to reiterate the update, there is no longer a threat to campus. We believe there to only be one shooter in this incident, and there is no longer a need to shelter in place on campus. There is no longer a threat on campus. We are sad to report that there have been three confirmed fatalities. This is in addition to the five victims who were injured and transported to the hospital. Some of those five victims still have life-threatening injuries. Out of respect for the families, and while we continue our active investigation, we cannot confirm any personal information about any of the victims at this time. Again, we want to reiterate to everybody that we know there is a lot of information that's being shared on social media and being set on the scanner. Please continue to get your information from us. We are committed to sharing timely and transparent information. Our hearts are with those who have been affected by this senseless act of violence. Giving an update like this is never easy. As a father, I can only imagine how parents are feeling right now. This will be the beginning of a long healing process for everyone who has been affected. <clears throat> that is the initial information that we're able to share at this point. I'll conclude by saying again that this is still a fluid situation there are several different crime scenes that we are processing with our state and federal partners. And there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to Special Agent in Charge James Tarasca from the FBI. Thank you, Chief. Good evening. I'm Jim Tarasca, Special Agent in Charge of the FBI in Michigan. Our hearts go out to the victims, their families, and the entire community. I'd like to thank Chief Lynch for your leadership tonight and your partnership. This evening, FBI agents and our response teams join our law enforcement partners to assist in investigating this horrific incident. We will continue to investigate until we are sure no further threat is posed to the public, which at this point, pretty clear it's not. 
Additionally, we will provide victim services to all students impacted by this incident. We're asking the public, in addition to the other uh, numbers provided to call for information, we have the 1-800-CALL-FBI number. Please feel free to use that. Call on any tips. Um, this is an ongoing investigation. We'll continue investigating throughout the night and uh, likely days. So with that, Chief, thank you.